targets that they want. We'll see where they want to go for. An LPL special is just to take that Gragas into the top side, just to mitigate the pressure you get with things like an Aurelia, a Jace, hell, even maybe even a Trindamir. We'll see exactly where everything ends up finishing off there. But right now, Honestly, with these comps locked and loaded, it's so neat. No longer. Dagda, we are on to the rift for the first game of the 2021 World Championships. Hanwha Life Esports versus LNG Esports. It's an old school LPL versus LCK. I am so excited. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> I mean, I got the flight over with you, and I think I felt my seat shake the entire way. Yeah, we hadn't just even vibrated. In the air, yeah. yeah, like it wasn't turbulence or anything. It was just me. <laughs> but now. We're in the game, we're talking about the early game, we're talking about how everything's going. We're actually seeing the three rejuve bead for Trindamir now into the mid lane. Can you explain what the hell is going yeah, on? Yeah, so a lot of people have copped on that this is absolutely well. busted. So essentially, you get so much health regen um, already coming through from the triple rejuve bead. And as well, Chovy is going to have access to the Q on the Trindamir, which is going to heal himself up as well. And even with the grasp here, it makes it nigh impossible for you to actually get shoved out of lane. And now teams have kind of realized, hang on a second, when you give a Gore Drinker champion an invincibility for several seconds on an ultimate, it can be a little bit obnoxious. But we're already having Hanwha here, just getting some vision and trying to be obnoxious, use that double poke that they have to push Tarzan away. Yeah, they're recognizing that there is a big carry in Tarzan. And we got to talk about Char Tarzan versus Chovy. It is the two old school Griffin boys coming back and looking to try and find their other Griffin boy in Viper uh, or later on in the tournament. So these guys are the catalyst to their team. These are the guys who make the plays and make the moves. And these are the guys we're going to have our magnifying glasses on. Yeah, for anyone who's not aware, you had both these boys playing black on Griffin in 2019. We got Chovy left for DRX in 2020, where he stayed there before moving on to Homewall Life in 2021. Whereas for Tarzan, he kind of dipped out coming into um, summer 2020, where he left Griffin, wasn't really sure where he's going, and then popped up again on LNG and has been kind of riding high and been such a core portion of LNG ever since then. I'm curious now to see exactly where Chovy wants to take this one. He will always have the push against the Gragas. The Gragas not so great into those lanes. And like you said, the tree, the regeneration you get with the Trindamir on his W as well as just in general, the Rejuve is just insane. So a lot of pushing, a lot of powerful lanes here in the bottom half of the map here for the side of Hanwha Life, but Ali is going to be able to get the push into Morgan, and like we said, Morgan on this Aurelia can pop off, but we have seen the opposite happen for the Jax. Yeah, I think for Jax, you can get that push level one. Having access to the Counter-Strike makes it very difficult for Morgan to, like, stack up his Q and go for these aggressive trades with the uh, the auto attacks stacked up on the passive, so I like getting the shove here, but you can actually look at Tarzan. He's passing back down towards this bottom side. You do not want to try and fight with Chovy having push. You'll have Morgan, who's going to be just able to push out that wave in top side as well and the Sejuani there's just too much pressure there although Tarzan may be looking for the early play. Oh, I think he might have just been spotted out. Yeah, I think he just got spotted there on the side of the vision, so they knew exactly where he was. He was just going to take a scuttle as his prize, as we see now Willer going down towards that bot side and just kind of getting a nice trade, a shake of hands, if you will, on either scuttle on either side. Yeah, I mean, Willer just passing, passing back down towards where he had push on that bottom side, so Jungler spoke on a reset, and it's not going to be too much action again. Like, when you're looking towards Tarzan, once that level six, that's where you really start to take on much more pressure coming through from the Kiana, and we we'll Willer as well, we said his home is going to be those Rift Turtles. It really, really is. And we got to talk about Hanwha Life as well, because when they do, when they get a lead, they generally do well. Uh, the sad thing that comes up is when they don't get a lead, <laughs> they tend to not really do a lot. They have got themselves an 8.3% win rate with a deficit at 20 minutes. So they are not good when they're put behind the, 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 the pace of the game. Yeah, and a large portion of that is coming through like lane phase for Chovy, right? Chovy has been an absolute monster when it comes towards TSing, controlling his matchup, same when you look towards death in the bottom lane. Those are the big places that we're looking towards gold difference from lane, but we'll have to see how they pick up the pace a little bit against LNG, because certainly, oh, hang on. And we're gonna see the yeah. counter strike. Ally doesn't really have the mana or the health bar really to take that fight. So just Morgan being a nuisance. And honestly, Morgan's got the wave in a nice spot. So he might be able to kind of force a little bit of jungle attention early to the top side. Yeah, I would be, I'm curious to see if Willer is gonna make it up there again. I think you, as home of life, just hang on here, right? You can look towards the uh, early Rift Herald play, look to try and take those early skirmishes. Whereas when you look across at Tarzan, just trying to 
clear these camps off of respawn is going to be your best bet, but it is also Tarzan who is uh, definitely known as a bit more of an aggressive jungler who already is trying to see if he can get on towards Deft in the bottom side. Yeah, and of course they know that the Kiana is going to be looking for those moves, is going to be looking to try and get those little skirmishes going where they can just burst them out because a Kiana who gets fed, a Kiana who gets ahead is a massive issue. But like you said earlier, they're very squishy. If you don't get ahead, if you don't get the items and the side of Hanwha life can survive, that's when things get a little bit testy. Yeah, especially if Hanwha can start to pick up some of these early terrors. When you want to try and play this 1-3-1, one, one, you end up spread across the map very well. You can start to look to like hover and uh, hard shift in towards some of these uh, plays towards mid lane, make it really difficult for LNG to control the map. Although, here we go. Willer making his way up topside. Yeah, he's up here. They're going to be able to jump on top of him. He has got himself the ward hop, but I think Ale is in a lot of trouble. Flash forward. Willer will not get the proc down, though, and they're not going to commit to the full dive. So, a little bit of a miss uh, execution there. And at the bot side, Death, though, he's ignited. He has to flash himself away, but already Lightning and Wandy putting their foot down. Yeah, I really thought on that topside play, we'd actually get the flash from Morgan. One more auto would have been the stun, and they could have killed Ale underneath that terror, but Morgan not willing to invest it, and it means that you just about escape as Ale. And, and I think as well, as Ale now making his way back topside, he should be able to catch most of this wave. He's not going to be in too many issues. Yeah, you see Icon pretty damn confident as the Gragas. He's going to have a lot of work to be able to kind of make this one for him. Charizan was just hovering around, and Chovy knows not to mess with that jungler and gets himself out to safety. You're going to have Willer just hover around, and Tarzan says... I'm not done with you just yet. I'm going to keep chasing you all the way down because I am guaranteeing this little prize of the Scuttle Crab. It was a nice attempt from Icon, though. If you'd actually managed to get Chobi underneath the turret, maybe when he was still level 5, you could have made that play work, get that quick kill, but fortunately not quite able to do so. You actually see Iwandi as well starting to rotate up, but this very much feels more like the LNG that we saw in the regular split, right? Iwandi not having a huge amount of roam potential, and... I'm kind of seeing a bit of a slower paced game, which I think suits Hanwha. Yeah, I think this is the thing. We talk about LNG. Again, LNG probably a team that not many people are very familiar with. They're not, apart from, I would say, uh, Icon or Tarzan, not really household names in the LPL. And this is a team that you can just work an awful lot with. And we look at the story of how they actually got here and really see exactly what they went for. The first half, like you said, they went 7-1. and one. They were huge in the first half of the split, but then it just all kind of fell down a bit. Yeah, the second half of the split, they really couldn't get it together we talked about those like individualistic play styles we're not really working together but when we look towards Tarzan you can see this is what started to change Tarzan hovering for Ale letting him get control of these topside waves especially when he's on these more carry oriented picks that was the big tool that set up LNG for success especially when we look towards playoffs yeah the big thing in playoffs as we always look at it there is that it was just them Absolutely smashing. The world's 2020 finalists. Okay, we'll take down the semi-finalists down in top esports. Okay, you know what? MSI 2021 winners. We will take them down too. They earned their spot to be here at Worlds, and they honestly look so good doing it. Yeah, and it's part of the reason when we looked at like predictions coming through for LPL. Me and Lyric held hands into last place because we were like, there's no way LNG beat City. There's no way they beat top esports. How the hell did they beat RNG? They really came out of the gate swinging. And it's great to see that LNG made that mirror Miracle Run managed to get all the way to Worlds, but I mean, again, we were talking about it's also a Miracle Run run for Hanwha Light. They also ran the gauntlet to get in towards the regional finals. They managed to take down Nongshim to actually get across here. Um, and that's exactly like that run is what set them up so well to come into the World Championship. And now we got to see if they can beat down LNG and continue that streak. We're seeing now Rift Hile being started up by Willer in the picture in picture. We're waiting to see now Tarzan hovering around, maybe looking for something here. We'll find Vista. Does he invest into it though? Actually, they're looking for death because he know they know he has no flash available. He'll have an arcane shift, and that's about it. He will use it there. There's the supreme display of talent into the bullet time, but is it enough to be traded back? I want he will just survive. First blood goes to LNG. Guardian OP in that play. I want he barely scraping out of that one, but really good call from Death, just getting that ultimate off. Nerd he got the turn around, but unfortunately not quite able to do so. While this was all going on, though, Hanwha did get that Rift Tower. This was the trade on the map state that LNG were looking for. And at least they're able to pick up a kill. Not getting any turret plates, though. Not going to mean that uh, Light able to get too much off of the bot lane play. Yeah, right now, Hanwha Life getting the objective win, whereas LNG getting themselves the kill. Important that did go over to Tarzan. And Willer stealing away a couple of camps as well, just to be a little bit annoying in the, in the end of that play. So now... 
Tarzan, where do you want to go with this? And actually, we're looking towards the top, so we haven't talked about it in a while. Morgan is having a little bit of a free time just farming up. 10 CS up into Ale. He knows he's going to have himself a nice little bit of an advantage, especially how much, how much time Willer is investing to that top side. Yeah, and I'm actually curious to see the, the kind of full roam up from Light Night Wandy as well. They were nearly expecting Homo to just toss that Rift Herald very quickly into the top side and wanted to be there for that play. But it does mean, when you look at the bot side, Deft getting that full wave, going to be able to push this in, and it unlocks Vista, who's starting to roam around the map. And then we get Homo going back towards these dragons. I'm going to start and start it off. We have a quick look at the gold. It is only about a 200 gold lead into that top side. As we can see, pretty much even Stevens across the board. And the only real difference being in the jungle position. Actually, I'll just say, Def does have himself about a 400 gold lead in that bot side as well. And that's two objectives now. Rift Herald into the dragon going over to Hanwha Life. And they're picking up the speed a little bit. They're going through the motions. This is where they're very, very comfortable to kind of play this game. And this is kind of why I was surprised to see the Kiana pick, especially for Tarzan, right? We've been talking about Tarzan liking these early aggressive plays, like our picks when you look towards playoffs, it's been like the Olafs, the Zacks, the Lee Sins, the players that can get out and get onto the map early, but the Kiana just doesn't have that. And you're seeing, look, Ale not able to play through the Jacks to get these big advantages topside. Awandi not really pairing up with the LNG in the same way. And Hanwha have been playing their game, right? Slow and steady, beat them through lanes, look towards these objectives, especially when you look towards Hanwha in the, uh, in the, playoffs they've been much more focused on these dragons trying to get that crazy early soul at the 28 minute mark that has been so crucial to their success we got Gordringer now for tarzan as we do see the flawless duet land there onto ally pretty damn safe if i do say so myself got himself the plated steel caps to keep himself going onto this one here as icon just pushing in Chovy just a little bit. Willer will be spotted out. There's the Vanguard's Edge jumping in straight away. We will have the Counter-Strike to try and mitigate anything going. They will invest the Glacial Prison, but it will miss by the smallest of hairs. Yeah, they just about to get away, but that's two plays now to the top side, giving a ton of control over to this Aurelia. DP. I mean, oh, hang on, yeah, looking at this bottom side. Here we go. in a lot of trouble. He has Flash and Heal. He's going to get charmed up into the bullet time. Flashes away. There's Icon using the Explosive Cat into the Belly Bob. He's exhausted. Death will fall. Vista sure to follow. Who's going to to get it it's gonna be like one two uni flu lng 3-0 up and this is brilliant from lng getting some plays in the bottom side but how my life are here to trade looking to get this mid lane tourist yeah we can see it now dropping down shelly she will get a bop off so they will get themselves three plates nicely done there is actually ale and morgan going toe to toe it's a 1v1 in the top side we're gonna see the stun come down ale forced to flash away cannot take on the aurelia right now and we put the question mark out hey morgan have you improved what's this aurelia gonna look like well it's pretty damn clean right now beating out I like getting these big plays and unfortunately Tarzan misses that ultimate in the mid lane so trade in towards mid victory for Homwa trade on the top side victory for Homwa the only part that's really missing for Homwa is this bot side but you're looking to play that 1-3-1 one, one still let's take a look at the axe replay right now because this was just a well coordinated dive that just said look you're overextended and we have a TP ward yeah I want he flashes that little bit too far forward but you still have Icon here to save the day light flashing forward as well manages to pick up the double kill and especially when you're looking towards Towards the ability to set up light as this big carry on this misfortune look towards those team fights having a bunch of kills on towards this mf may give a little bit of reproach to Hamwa. again i gotta make reference we are only about 13 minutes into the game but it is a thousand gold lead right now for lng and this is where Hanwha life as we said in those mid games 20 minutes they tend to struggle so i want to see a little bit more i want to see how they are able to kind of transition themselves the big problem for me though is like when you look towards how do you force fights for lng right you want objectives well Rift Herald's already gone. You look towards dragons, well, they've already started going the way of Hanwha, and Hanwha can start to trade the later dragons for pressure on these side lanes. Take down the turrets, they've already weakened mid, bots looking a little bit low as well, and you've got Morgan, who's kind of slapping LA around on the top side. This is starting, it's very slow start to the game. It's only three kills. We're not used to this, obviously. We have a little bit more action <laughs> generally from the LPL, but... It's slow and steady. We're starting to see full items being picked up. The Mythics, we have, of course, got the Gore Drinker for the Aurelia. You've got the Frostfire Gauntlet here for the Sejuani. Gore Drinker finished up for the Trindemir as well. And on the other side, you've got the Gale Force for the Misfortune. You only have the, uh, the Gore Drinker for the Kiana. So you are at a little bit of a power trough right now for LNG. Yeah, and I think uh, Homo have been doing a good job at the moment of kind of playing towards their strengths, right? They have been a slower paced team. With the champions that they have, they want to play through the laning phase. And even just pushing off the advantages that Chovy has in the mid lane, We've seen Willer working towards these objectives. And now you're kind of going, hang on a second, LNG. You need to start making these plays happen because if you end up in a situation where Hanwha can have free roam on the map, you're not going to be looking so hot. And especially when Hanwha, they want to start looking towards dragons. They want to start looking at this next Rift Herald, which is just going to be up in under a minute. 
I'm a little scared. <laughs> Jovi's not done a lot, but like that Jovi knows how to do a lot, and that's why I'm a little scared. Later this game goes on, the more of a monster this guy becomes. And you even look at towards, you know, his regular split versus his um, you know, his 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 regional gauntlet as such. He really absolutely stepped up and was able to make so much happen for his team. And just looking at the difference between his first blood percentage, his damage per minute, his kill participation, it was huge. And as we're gonna have to quickly come back out of this, we are gonna see both junglers and Iwandi actually here. Miller doesn't fully commit to it, and they're going to force out the Sejuani. So LNG privy to the play, but now with the rest of the team coming up, Tarzan might be in a little bit of trouble. Ale going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Morgan, fasts himself out, or excuse me, jumps himself out. And it's just a lot of posturing. I don't like what LNG are doing, though. Your strongest point of the map is light. The fact that light is not rotated up to this means that Homewa are playing off their strongest point of the map, which is topside. So you can see LNG, they've just got to give this. They don't have control of mid and top, and Homewa get this again. So I get, I'd get. i rather see LNG looking for cross map, seeing if they can make a play towards death, or even look to take this bottom terror in response. But Homewa will breathe a sigh of relief, knowing LNG were in the vicinity. Yep, Homewa will get themselves Shelly 2.0. Well, Dragon has been started by LNG, but we are seeing the Karma rush down there immediately. Deft is playing uber safe because he now realizes that they're no longer at the Rift Isle, so he is in a lot of trouble if he was to stay underneath his tower. So it eventually equals out, but it could have been a lot more. That was very close. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit too close there for Tarzan, but he does manage to get it. Terror bot side still goes down for light, though, and at least that's going to help out a little bit, but it will be responded from Homwa, and Iwandi is topside to make sure that he can respond to the Herald play, try and stop them from getting two Terrors, but you definitely need Tarzan or Icon to start to move up here in case they look for the all-in. Now, Fulus Duet will just land as Iwandi just saying, hey, I'm here, don't think of anything funny. We know that you can go for it if, if I wasn't, so showing face to make sure his top laner was doing all right. Yeah, Icon had started to move up top side with Tarzan, who was going to take over mid control. So Homo Life, respecting the fact that there was going to be more members of LNG in top lane, started to back away. But again, I like this from Homo, right? You trade that dragon, you get control on the top side, get control of Rift Herald taking the turrets. And now you can start to have Morgan pushing that little bit deeper, Chovy pushing that little bit deeper, get vision control and start to operate in the 131 where you're most comfortable. It is still creeping forward as we can now see the Misfortune has about a thousand gold lead in that bot side and it is only about four or five hundred in the top lane so you're still gaining more eff effective gold from LNG making these trades on the bot side but the easy objective of the tower and the dragon is now gone like we said earlier you need to start making plays you need to start finding opportunities because Hanwha are just very happy to sit here and just soak up the waves and experience. Yeah the only downside for Hanwha is that they couldn't really get any like deep vision in as well so they weren't quite able to kick full control you can see Morgan like investing a lot of time here to clear out the vision that LNG had placed onto the bottom lane. So unfortunately for Chovy, who's now operating on the top end, won't be able to push in too far. He's just going to dip out of vision, make sure that he's able to at least give a little bit of pressure towards death so he can have control over that mid lane. We're just sitting here and waiting for something <laughs> to happen. So this just, is what an LCK podcast Yeah, is I was going to say, yeah. now we go how LCK <laughs> feels. God damn. No wonder, no wonder they get to talk about so many different things. But obviously, you know, we can talk about the importance of these teams, but we haven't really talked about the importance of this group. It is still a single round wob, wob, wob best of one. Excuse me, I can get my what word. What was that? Wow, Wobbin. <laughs> <laughs> a round robin best of sucker, one. So, sucker tech. Yeah. <laughs> you can do tongue twisters and I can't. And that's a, a weird flex that you always pull up on me but <laughs> it is something that you get one shot at this this is your tiebreaker this is the opportunity now to make sure that you're going to be able to go top of your group get that automatic qualification if you lose this you're in, already on the back foot yeah and i think also a lot of um pride from both regions got to be relying on this as well right like first game of world championship 2021 you want to get the w you want to put it in your club uh, in your um Wing Sorry, I, I was going to say, yeah, I got... So this is where you see the LPL in me. I see two teams <laughs> anywhere near they each other. Near and I'm like, they're going to fight. They were no. near Raptors. Yes. Something's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the things that, like, is really interesting when you look at, like, LCK versus LPL. Um... It's LPL will oftentimes like fight for summoners, right? When you know like in two minutes time that a dragon's going to be up. They'll try and burn crucial summoners on say things like an Ezreal on death so you maybe can pick him off or if you can burn on towards Morgan you can try and pick him off as well but we don't actually see that a huge amount from LCK. They are much more respectful and going, hang on, what are we actually fighting for here? Is it worth burning those summoner spells and losing that bit of gold? Well, Chovy 
has got a fat Santa man running after him. I wonder he was spotted out, so he's just going to spin his way to safety as the push comes in here from Icon. Minute and a half till Dragon, and Vista might be in a little bit of trouble. There are three men going in. They flash forward, but Vista will not be hit by the supreme display of talent. He gets out, but he burns a summoner. It's just about able to escape, and you can see, right, trying to commit a lot there to get some of these crucial summoner spells. Tarzan has to burn his same, though. He should still have that ultimate backup for the Dragon fight if it happens, but if I'm Hanwha, right, look at where Chovy is. Push in that wave, keep yourself entirely safe, make sure that you you can then have Morgan try and shove him bot side as well. Like, you do not need to fully commit towards this dragon because you're under no real pressure. This late game dragon scaling is only going to facilitate you in trying to play out through those side lanes. Again, we're just slowly ticking up now. We're coming up 10 seconds before the 20 minute mark, and it is a gold lead for LNG. No, it's not a significant It literally huge has one. It's the exact same from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1,300. Uh, so it's slightly bigger. But <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> your, your pardon. No worries. That's why I'm here to keep you, keep you sane, keep you set up. But again, this is again a very small goalie, but it is still LNG getting the goalie. They are now starting to pick up those first items. We see the Everfrost into the mid lane, Blade of the Rune King for Ale into the top side. So he's looking to again push in, get those trades, and get kind of sustained back up before he looks for a fight again. Yeah, I think, though, you can see, right, LNG, they're kind of going, eh, there's a lot of control here for Hanwha on this dragon. Don't know how much we want to try and commit to it. Already just trying to shift their vision control up towards Baron, so Tarzan just trying to see if he can poke, but I don't know if LNG are actually going to fully commit for this. They're now face-checking in, kind of realizing, hang on a second, Death's the only real poke. I've been here before. Icon this time around going to jump in now and see if he can catch out Morgan, who has got his flash available to him, but I think he's dead to right. You can see Iwandi and the rest of LNG. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, Morgan almost getting the solo kill, but it's a premium display talent catches out Willer and Chovy. They are going to jump in now with the quickness and try and start this one off. Death Untouched Vista is now out and safe. He's going to be able to supply some ordnance from the side. And Chovy with the undying rage, with the healing, with the damage. It's just doing so much to this backside. Tarzan has to try and find himself a way out, but I don't think he can. He's going to try and just do as much damage as possible. But it is Hanwha Life who get themselves the three kills. And it looked good to begin with for LNG, but there you can see the power of this Trindamir pick Chovy running a muck through LNG and Hanwha now will turn towards Dragon. They'll get more kills on towards these solo laners for Hanwha and can now look again to go back towards this 1-3-1 and start to find those early skirm or well those better skirmishes for themselves but we're going to see it here right you get the 1v1 between Ale and Morgan nice job from Ale to set this up you got Icon is coming so Morgan has to look for the all-in but I want to cast your eyes towards the top half of this replay. You get the bullet time from Light but look how few people actually get hit by it. Not quite getting into a position where he can actually like push on towards Chovy, Willer. Vista is totally out of the equation as well. And then poor positioning, trying to follow up on the fight, means you get that really good turnaround from Willer, setting up the fight and Look at Chovy, like absolutely yeah. running up. This is it. You get all the healing, you get all the invincibility, and then you just go pop, I'm full health again. <laughs> it is so obnoxious, and this is why Chovy, you can see just how well he goes into the fight, comes out of the fight, recognizes his limits, and knows where he can and cannot go. Has the Essence Reaver now, if you're not familiar with the Trindamir build, this is pretty damn common. Gets you cooldowns, you don't really care about the mana as such, you're just looking to try and keep yourself as topped up as possible. Yeah, and we'll often see, like, Navori Quick Blades coming in as well after that, like, basically going for all the cooldown that you can possibly have as soon as possible. So, you can see there, looking at the gold difference as well, that's 15 100 there going over towards Chovy in that mid lane. He's going to be so strong. And again, you can see him like operating on this top side. You can't really sit here as Icon. You're always in dive potential. And when you've got that invincibility from Chovy, he can just tower dive. And you can see there Tarzan didn't have his flash because he tried to use it on Vista earlier. And oh, just, Tarzan. oh, Chovy will find him. But I don't know if he wants to take this fight just yet. There is a few LNG members just hovering off to the side. And Chovy picks up some fruit and eats his vegetables, gets his five a day, and gets himself back up to literally full HP. Yeah, I love the way Homo have been playing this, though, right? We talked about them being the very slow-paced team, but they're keeping control over the top side in the early stages, getting those early Rift Heralds, and now you can see LNG, even though they want to find these team fights, Homo staying very spread out, finding more skirmish-orientated engages, means that you're not getting that big wombo from LNG, and Homo are finding success. Now going back towards the 1-3-1, you're not really finding moments for LNG, especially when they're behind in tempo, to force these fights. 
Yeah, and Willard is saying, look, I'm ahead of you. I have three levels above you. I have the rest of my team behind me. You need to get the hell out. This is no longer your jungle. So now LNG, they have to invest the vision. They have to invest the time, the buddy system to find the vision, find out where these wards are and to get themselves back in control of their own jungle. And it's so difficult when like Deft pushing in mid lane, he gets control, just linking up with Chovy, he's already pushed in top. They just disappear into the fog of war on the top side of the map and you've got to then try and face check it as LNG. And here's again that problem that we brought up, right? Not really a big tank on LNG side. You don't even have something like a Zonya's Hourglass for Icon. So trying to contest vision that Humble Life are establishing your top side is really difficult to do. I mean, if you get the Wombo combo as LNG, that's fantastic. You've gotten all of your damage off. If it misses, which you saw in the last team fight where the Misfortune ult just was a little bit too shy, you just don't have the sustain to stay in the fight. You need to back away. The, all of your damage is based off of that big combination unless Hanwha Life makes some egregious errors in positioning. And all it takes is Willer to show up anywhere, right? You get that big Sejuani yield, you can go topside, Chovy look for the dive, you can go in towards the mid lane as well. They're just basically having Morgan like absorb all the lanes that Ali's pushing in and going, cool, well, what are you going to do, LNG? You can't really play off of three lanes right now because you're behind. So if you ever get Ali who hard focuses on towards this bot lane push, you can get Morgan run in towards the mid lane. They can look for an engage there. They can shift up towards the top side as well. There's so many opportunities for Hanwha to find moments on the map. Yeah, and 25 minutes in, it is a 700 gold lead, a dragon in favor of Hanwha Life. It is so damn close, this particular game. And you can tell neither team wants to give that inch. If you give an inch, you could lose a mile. There's just so much on the line for both these sides. Neither really wants to be the reason they lost. Oh, this, I was kind of thinking, you know, LCK, LPL, maybe we get LNG coming in super fast, super spicy, but definitely a LCK style game, which, I mean, Humble, they've been playing this all split. This hasn't been the LNG style, and they're struggling to keep up with the LCK team here. They are struggling a little bit, and I like this from the side of Hanwha Life. They're saying, look, we have teleport advantages. We know what we can do. Life getting jumped on a little bit. Uses the Gale Force to try and get himself out. They're going to try and jump on the Chovy and maybe burn him down, but he's still going. There's the Supreme display of Talon to try and keep Light alive, but Chovy's in, Chovy's out, and Chovy gets himself the kill. Welcome to my trainer. <laughs> it's just stupid. Like, the fact that Chovy's just the entire time running down Light there, unable to escape. Now, again, Light, pretty poor posi positioning there. Easily able for Chovy to just jump on him. You got Willer coming over the wall as well but this is what we're talking about right Ale tries to push in topside and instantly Hummer are like cool we have the numbers advantage up on topside let's start to push in aggressively we're ahead we can take these fights and they do a phenomenal job of finding light and executing them and they really do oh flash in icon goes in belly bop extend oh bop as they get him down deft gets himself killed all out of one small misstep all right there's the one per game for deft deft does this basically <laughs> all the time every we time you hit on my head deft will end up giving over one of these but i don't think it's going to be too massive like dragon going across yeah it would be nice for Hanwha if you were out on the map to try and find like pressure elsewhere but a second dragon to LNG doesn't really change much with how much control Hanwha have on this map even you can see it here right they're still pushing out mid because you're committing members for LNG to the dragon they they start to rotate again up looking for vision control on this top side playing towards Baron playing towards Chovy's strength you're still good as Hanwha here we'll say though that's how quick it can change. That's how the damage works. That's how quickly you will just get 100 to 0. And it was honestly just a trade of the AD carries some of yeah. their heals. It was Light losing his, didn't use his flash. Deft obviously getting caught and also using his. So we now see full items being picked up now. We have three for Deft. He's got himself that Frozen Heart. So a little bit of extra tankiness won't do him a lot against the Gragas, but will do a lot against the Jax and the Kiana as well as the Misfortune. And again, more and more and more items. The Navori Quick Blades, which you yeah, mentioned I'm for terrified the terrified of this but <laughs> the Rabadon's Death Cap four icons his one shot potential is a hundred percent real yeah but you're Gragas <laughs> and you're also like you've got invincibility for Chovy right you've got the uh, the Morgan who's gonna have that sterics the gore drinker like nine and possibly just one shot this same when you look at Willer like maybe you can catch death to moments like that but those are rare moments where you can actually catch Ezra so what you're gonna invest the rabbit on deck cap to burst out Vista I think Azania's Hourglass looking to be that engaged tool looking to try and play defense would have been better for Icon in this situation and Icon investing the explosive cast there as Chovy does Spin to get himself out. Was locked up just a little bit. Willer is going to find himself in a 1v1 versus Tarzan as they both try and gain control of the red side dragon. And then we now see Ale and Morgan taking their 1v1s. So this is not a 5v5 game. This is a 1v2v1v1. Because right <laughs> now, this is just no one's grouping up. No one wants to go for a big team fight because they feel like they have strengths in those sidelines. But how about don't need to? Ooh. 
Oh, I want B. They're going to chase him down just a little bit, but with Icon there, he should be able to get himself battle danced out. Yeah, but Hamo don't need to force the issue, right? Like, they're actually doing the correct thing here, which is just getting deep vision control, allowing them to play off of both the, the two waves that are in mid and in that top side as well. So if you ever misstep of his LNG, like I want Dean early did, you can look for the picks. So... LNG are trying desperately to contest this vision, not give Hanwha control of this top side, because then they can move between the two lanes so easily. Oh, Willow's gotten caught out. They're going to try and charm him up. There is a TP coming in, but he is dead now. Here you are, Morgan. Can you get out? Ally jumps onto the backside to try and get some disruption there, but Chovy has arrived. Can he do anything in this fight? No, LNG are just too much of a unit. They're too clumped together. The explosive cat to disengage. Chovy still pushing it onto Tarzan as Iwandi is here. Has popped the ghost, will get himself out, but a pick nonetheless. But there's the difference, right? Ale resets. Homewell don't respect it. Still try to contest Vision in the top side. Ale shows up and they pick off Willer. Now, you can still see with Homewa having that huge advantage. LNG still struggling to force them out. So Homewa's still in pretty decent control of the map, but at least you're getting something back in LNG's favor. That is 30 minutes into the game. Yeah. The gold lead means nothing right now. It's 200 or so in the fade. Not even, actually. Now, let's just check it. It's just been updated. It's two dragons apiece. We are going to see the Baron being started up here. Tarzan doesn't quite know this is going down just yet. As he kind of moves over, is he being baited by a ward? He kind of is. I'm not going to yeah. lie. He knows that he has vision there, but they don't know that the Baron's going down. Yeah, they just think Chovy's moving across here. He pops over the wall. Maybe this is the ward. There we go. It hops down. LNG are now aware this is happening. They are aware it is. Willer is only just joining in now. 5,000 HP onto the Baron. You can see LNG have moved themselves up. They have priority in mid. Hanmar thinking about disengaging for this one. The Baron very, very low. They'll go in straight down onto Iwandi. There's the explosive cast, but Iwandi is dead. Extreme but play of talent, though. Hits on the four, and maybe LNG can turn this one around. Chovy's already used his Undying Rage and has to get himself out. It's a one for none. LNG do get themselves a hell of a lot though. The synergy just isn't there between LNG. We get the big supreme display of talent, but again, the misfortune ultimate isn't over the top of it. Chovy again presses or survives all the burst, runs through onto the back line at LNG. They're running for the hills every time Trindamir approaches them. Hanwha have again managed to get away from what is the, the bread and butter of LNG's composition. You can see it there just in the way that the teams are playing. Neither is fully confident they can commit to the full 5v5 and they're kind of hemming and hawing and going in and yes, maybe no it just ends up being a big old scrap that's kind of fought on two different fronts and on with life because of the obnoxious champions they have, they're just able to get the benefit of it. Yeah, and one of the big things is like when you look towards the engages coming through from the Rakan as well, right? We're going to see it here is that Rakan, very, very squishy. If this was an Alistair, cool, pop the ultimate, you're going to be able to get out. But Homewall Life do a really good job of picking off Iwandi. Again, we get the Supreme Display of Talent, not really working in synergy with Light. And Chovy pops the ore just in time, manages to escape. And then Homewall like, cool, we've kind of looked to reset here. We got the pick. We're good to go again. Oh, here we go. No teleport here for Morgan, but there is one for Ale. As we now go towards mid lane, Chovy has been spotted out, so the rest of LNG back themselves up. They're going to actually jump straight in on top of him and try and maybe burn him down just a little bit. Not quite able to get any CC down, so can't lock him up. Ten seconds still, the dragon spawns. Han will life first on the river. Yeah, LNG were just seeing if they could maybe pop that ultimate before this objective starts, but again, home on now with control of this. We just saw that LNG, if they cannot hit on towards Deft, on towards Vista with these ultimates, they cannot win these team fights. Here we go, Willer goes in. We're going to see the Supreme display his talents hit down to another four people. As Ale jumps on the Chovy, he will have the counter-strike here on to Morgan, but he's not going to be able to get anything else done. There is the bullet time going down. Willer is dead. Vista has to flash away and get himself healed by his AD carry. Chovy, for the first time this game, looks like he might die, and that's going to be a shutdown going over to light. Ale chasing down the old LPL top laner in Morgan. That's three kills. That's going to be Dragon. That's going to be Baron. Yeah, you can see the pings going down on towards Baron. They're just going to have Icon solo this out oh, the rest deft. of the team, but deft. Deft is here, and oh, oh, call an ambulance, but not for me. He gets himself between the turrets, and Ale gets himself out. That's another kill for LNG. They have the road of the map. Yeah, great bait, mate. Eight out of eight as they move over towards the Baron, and I mean, it's only Deft here. This would be a miracle steal if he can get that ultimate, but Tarzan is on the bottom side. He's going to pop that early. Look to poke off LNG. He's looking to poke him off. This isn't Ezreal. He's got himself four items, or three and a half, as he comes into this one, but he's 5v1. Deft, it's all on you, buddy. They're going to try and go for him. They're going to slow him down. 
down. He's going to flash away to try and keep himself alive. But the explosive cast is too good. Deft, however, is a slippery Ezreal. Gets himself out. Baron still goes in favor of LNG. All right, Deft, I respect it. Playing on a knife's edge there, but just about able to escape. LNG, though, will manage to get the Baron. Has slowed down the pace of LNG, though, and allowing Homewat to get back out onto the map. They can now start to look to shove out waves and mitigate the damage that this Red Bull Baron power play can have. And now you can talk about the replay, because I'm yeah. talking <laughs> <laughs> But look, I think this is really cool, right? You end up getting the uh, the damage on towards Chovy, but watch Deft and Vista, right? They're completely zoned out from this fight. Icon does a great job of engaging onto them, so a large portion of your damage is just lacking here. Chovy is doing a great job of tanking up and causing disruption in LNG's backline, but because you don't have Deft working his way through the LNG's life bars this entire time, LNG are still healthy and able to find the victory in the fight. This is now looking at Ale, 403 on this Jax. Five items, if you include his boots. He is just so obnoxious to deal with. And that was the Red Bull Baron power play now for LNG as they push into that mid lane. Still waiting to get themselves more than one turret. Still a lot of standing gold available, but they have the options. They have the damage. Yeah, and this was kind of the benefit of Depp being able to slow them, right? Look at the wave top. That's got to be pushed out before you can really deal with anything. Same when you look at the bot lane. Chovy managed to push that out. So the only place that LNG can really aggress on is mid lane. Oh, Morgan. Again. Ale gonna jump in, but he's 3v1 right now. We'll have a ward and a hop and keep himself alive. Willer now, sadly for the Sejuani, is just a stun bot. It is an engaged tool to try and soak up as much damage as possible because the Sejuani is just not gonna be able to do any meaningful damage. As finally, that tier one in mid lane does fall as LNG keep pushing forward, keep looking to try and find someone just overstepping. Yeah, and this was the downside that we talked about, right? Def not really having great wave clear, not going to get it off of your two melee uh, solo laners. So Homwa going to struggle when LNG group up with this uh, with this Baron. But unfortunately, uh, not able to get any more for LNG's side. So Homwa again defending. If you only lose a mid lane turret off of the Baron play, like... That's pretty good. I mean, it's just so the we're at the state of the game now where supports are picking up second items. You know, they are picking up more for the specifically for the Karma for Vista. He's being able to pick up a little bit of AP, a little bit of extra wave fear, getting levels in as well. So this is where the game starts to become a little bit harder for LNG, where they need to find a full five-man ace before they can actually get anything significant. I also think we're starting to see a lot of the crucial items come through on LNG's side, right? At least the stopwatch for Icon. We already talked about the importance of having that when it comes to his team fights, being able to play aggressive, deny Chovy access while keeping yourself safe is going to be super crucial. Tarzan as well having the Black Cleaver as Awandi taking a bit of a step too far forward. Oh, Chovy will get jumped on though, so it's kind of a swap between Ale and Iwandi. Chovy will just get himself over the wall, but that's a lot of damage coming out from Ale, and Ale is unafraid. He is running into five members, knowing that he can just hop back out. This Jax is starting to really be a thorn in the side of Hanwha life. Yeah, the Random Zone is going to do a lot of work here against people like Trindamir, right, who rely on all that crit damage coming through off the passive off his items, so the fact that you've got this Random Zone reducing that is going to be super nice. Also, just keeping people at arms, well, within arm's reach of Ale is going to be super important, so LNG starting to get a little bit more control over the map right now. We'll have to see if they'll be able to keep this pressure up using Ally now that he's scaled into the late game on these side lanes and find advantages there. I'm curious as well, we actually see Icon going with the Hextech, Hextech Putrefire uh, as his third item. So not going for the full Morellos, looking to kind of be a bit more overall for everybody. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when you've got like <laughs> a Divine Sunder, two Gore Drinkers, everything else is coming through, I think you're, you're going to get your value karma, out of that. Karma, yeah. you, got a lot, you got a lot of uh, Grievous Wounds to kind of bring into this one. We started with Rejuve Beeves, we end with Grievous Wounds, but now 50 seconds of this Dragon Spawns, this will be Ocean Soul, and this is actually pretty significant now for LNG. That extra sustain to keep them in those fights could be huge. Yeah, and look at the vision for Chovy. Thank you very much, Observers, because when you look, right, this is where you can start to pick off people. Yeah, they're going to look, see, Iwandi is pretty safe. Willer going to have to use his Arctic Assault over the wall to keep himself away. Tarzan, though, gets caught out here. Will take about half his health away. There's going to be the uh, Glacial Prison coming in as they try and look and try and start this fight. Just before the Dragon spawns, Chovy goes into the side. The Supreme Display of Talent tops him down. And will he be able to keep himself alive just before it goes off? Yes, he will. He will get out. They heal the Flash. But here's Ale. He's just unafraid, unfurred, and undeterred to jump 100% into three. Now, however, he's going to get one marked. Oh, Chovy can't die. He will keep himself alive. Flash forward. 
light with the Gale Force gets him down. And finally, LNG, after what feels like an age, will find themselves the fight. They'll get the Ocean Stone. They might look just a barrel mid. And it looks like Tarzan might be able to find Death, but Death going to be able to Arcane Shift away again. LNG finding these great fights. And now, as you said, Dragon available for them. That mistake where Death got caught out earlier, now coming back to Bison, as it will be Ocean Soul going across. Light needs to be careful. There's a lot of damage on this Death, but Icon just staying out of vision. He has Flash and he has got himself the... Ooh, he nearly had the old but Getting themselves the tower, they'll back away. They picked up the Dragon, that's Ocean Soul well. But please explain to me this team fight, because it went on for an age. Yeah, I mean, what ended up happening was Chovy going that little bit too far forward, which you'll see at the beginning. But then it turns into who survives longer, Ale or Morgan in the back line. Because you get that engage on Taiwandi, Light, again, that ultimate not really doing too much. But Chovy's just out of the equation at this stage, right? He's trying his damnedest, but this great uh, kite back from LNG, a ton of CC to deal with, and Homo Light just can't catch up to play. Now watch, you got Morgan trying to deal with his fight on the top side. You got Ale, who's hop skipping and jumping his way around the Humwell Life backline. Oh. And unfortunately, Ale, just that bit bigger than Morgan right now, and is able to finish off these fights. Yeah, it felt like both top liners just shook hands and said, right, you take those three, I'll take <laughs> these three, and we'll see who's better at this point. But now with the Ocean Soul, we do have themselves a significant gold lead, seven and a half thousand. And now Tarzan, he doesn't feel afraid of this Chobi right now, because he's sitting on three and a half items, and he has a stopwatch. Yeah, and I mean, this is kind of where Ale gets very comfortable, right? You full build, Garden Angel, like he can go ham in these team fights as well. And LNG just feel confident to start up the Baron. Homo won't even be here. They gotta go with the teleport. They gotta bait this one out. They're gonna jump on the Chobi and get the damage down, but the Baron has been taken. That is secured. They're gonna jump straight in onto the single target of that Sejuani who went a little bit too close to the LPL fourth seed. And now Ale just pushing forward, knowing that he might be able to find someone. Has the Counter-Strike, will catch out for him, but a good Tavalis duet keeps him alive, barely flashes away. They're gonna go in and keep him going. He's flashing, he's flashing, he's going forward, but with knocked back, he's going to be left all to his lonesome to try and defend against the rest of LNG. Now Tarzan feeling good. Supreme display of talent lands onto two, and Death is dead. Vista will keep himself alive, and Chovy and Vista against the world. Hawa tried so damn hard, but LNG, they've got the Baron, they've got the Ocean Soul, and they're looking to take the base. Game one of the 2021 World Championships, LPL versus the LCK. The Nexus will fall in favor of of LPL and they will strike first in this absolutely historic bout between these two regions. LPL managed to come out on top and you can see Icon on your screen. It's been a long time coming for him to get to the world stage and he's going to be very happy that he's managed